My name is Renata So. I'm originally from Shreveport, Louisiana, but I reside now in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, today, um, I participated in the Spring Into Elegance fashion show in Riverdale, Georgia. Um, I collabed with my soul sister, Ebony Rose, and we performed our new single, New You. The energy was really great. I'm very excited about um, the energy that Ebony and myself brought to, to the table fashion show is kind of what they needed, but it was an overall great experience. I got to see a lot of um, young talent, a lot of raw young talent. Um, the DJ, DJ was the DJ was messing up and he was skipping on everybody's tracks. So I got a little weird log. Other than that, it was great. Um, things can be worked out as always with anything that you do that you present to people. It can always be something time. I had a great experience because this is my first time, so I'm grateful. Greetings, greetings. What's up, what's up? Welcome to our journey. I am Ebony Rose, aka Black Rose, aka Mother Earth Ambassador, aka Host of Ancestors. I am in direct travel with Zinga. Absolutely. Um, we had a, a show today, of course, you know, um, we performed at the Spring Into Fashion uh, fashion show out in Riverdale, Georgia. I'm going to tell you, when, when we hit the stage, um, it was an awesome experience. Um, the crowd was very, very enthused. They were really into it once they, you know, heard the music, felt the, felt the uh, vibrations and was able to really um, get into the lyrics as well. So it was a good thing. I mean, we did have some... Um, you know, some glitches or what have you, but um, we worked through it, and that's the that's the best part of it when you're able to really compromise and improvise. You know what I mean? Emotions dealing with the group with Ebony Rose. Okay, yeah, um, it's cool. Just like with anyone, with any relationship that you're in, any friendship, you're gonna have your spats, your arguments, and you may not agree with each other at the same time. Just at the end of the day that we just need to come together and everything is all on even keel and I think that's the bigger picture and she and I are able to do that we're able to fuss and fight because everything has to be right Ebony is very um, she's a perfectionist so everything has to be together I'm more lenient on that I'm the goofy one so I'm not always as serious and at times we do bump heads because we have a show that we have to get ready for or some business needs to be taken care of and we're just being ourselves and letting our flesh speak. At the end of the day, it's all about business, it's all about the love of God, it's all about this energy and just pushing our project. You know, at the spring, it's a fashion show. There were some great vendors there. Uh, tea time was in the house. No, excuse me, me time was in the house, um, serving up some great lemonade, all natural, fresh squeezed lemons and lime from your fruit tree. You think what I mean? <laughs> um, there was some, I mean, some, um, Recipe books um, in the house, homemade jewelry, homemade um, cosmetics, and I'm gonna tell you some absolutely wonderful, fantastic, very talented uh, designers, and they were young. I'm talking at like 15 years of age, 22 years of age, and I mean the clothes were like banging. You know what I mean? So it was a very, very, uh, a very rich, very rich event. A lot of talent in the house. Am I a group? Uh, is this a group <laughs> with Ebony Rose? Uh, well, it's Ebony Rose featuring Renata So. Ebony Rose is a neo-rock artist and she just likes to collaborate with different vocalists. Um, it's a certain look that she's looking for. It's just a certain theme. I'm grateful that she chose me. Of course, like I said, we're going to bump heads and we're not going to agree on some things. Um, but I am a featured artist with her, which is, this is my platform. This is me getting my feet wet on the industry because I'm new, stepping out um, to be bigger than life. 
and coming from behind shells with other people. And I'm kind of like on Rose's coattail. I don't care if she hit me, but I'm on her coattail right now. And we just, we gonna feud and we're gonna fight and she may say she don't want me in a group, but she can't leave me. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, we are, we're prepping for this tour. I'm excited. Um, I'm so excited to, to the point where I'm not even claiming any challenges, but the, the, the truth of the matter, things that I'm already starting to see is, you know, just issues with, you know, um, negotiations um, with some of the promoters um, as well as um, sound, you know, um, it is a challenge when we, we go to certain events, we don't have our own sound, man, and sometimes that happens, um, so that can be a challenge as well as, um, and I think those are right right now the two biggest things, you know what I mean? Some things that I'm looking looking forward to doing at some of these shows, concerts on tour on the road, is being able to uh, distribute our merchandise. Our t-shirts, herbal teas, and hats and things like that. But I'm gonna tell you, all you promoters out there, as just as, from an artist to, to, to an artist, let's keep it real, let's keep it 100%, let's, you know, let's have some respect for one another because we, we're coming to these events, we're performing, we perform with all of our heart and our soul. And in particular, performers like myself that has, um, I, you know, I would say prolific messages um, prolific lyrics, some good uh, vibrations. I mean, you know what I mean? Just look out for us a little bit. Give us a little something to eat, a little something to drink, you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, give us a nice little area changing, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I'm just excited to, you know, promote your event. It's all on my, you know, for the, the Facebook page, Twitter, um, what is that? What else is out there? Instagram. So I'm promoting your event. Just, you know, show the artist some respect, you know what I mean? We bring it to work. We bring it, you know, bring it to me. That's that's true, you know. So I, I'm gonna tell you, it ain't gonna be no challenge because I'm putting it out there already. This is going on YouTube. Promote it. Show us some goddamn respect. You know what I mean? See what I'm saying? So ain't gonna be no challenge on that shit. <laughs> my inspirations um, throughout this, my whole life experience, I will definitely say that it has to be my children. Um, I have two daughters, and I just want to be positive role model for them. I want to be a great influence for them. Something that they can look back on 10, 15 years from now and just be proud of me. So every day that I open my eyes, it literally is for them. Um, where do I see myself as an artist? Um, individually stepping out. Right now I am just, again, I'm getting my feet wet and I would eventually would like to be a solo artist. Um, but I want all the experience and all the knowledge that I can gain from Ebony Rose. So as of right now, then yeah, I guess you are group. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, you, you mentioned that, you know, there was some, you know, uh, things going on behind behind the scenes with some myself and some of uh, and we're not a solo in particular. Um, I, I should have beat her ass, but I didn't. No, I should have beat her ass. <laughs> Everybody can use a good beat down sometimes. You see what I mean? I remember getting my ass with when I was young, and it just helped me a whole lot. No, I'm teasing, but um, you know, yeah, Renata and I, we do bump heads. Um, we are, you know, two strong personalities, and uh, we do, we, we, we come out with, with a lot of passion, you know, so what we're doing is, is, is really from the heart, and it's, um, uh, she want to see me do well, and I want to see her, her do well, so we bring it together, and um, sometimes the forces can be, you know, a little overwhelming, but um, at the end of the day, we, we remain focused and humble, um, to the most high and our purpose of being here. So I never let whatever I'm dealing with um, personally with anyone get in the way of um, fulfilling my purpose. And being a band conductor and band leader, um, you know, as, as you all know, I formed and, and rocked with um, a band of Black Rose for about three years. And I, you know, I saw a lot of transition. And through that, actually, I was able to grow, to learn how to deal with different uh, personality, you know what I mean? As, as, as a leader, as a teacher, you have to, you know, you teach, you listen, and you learn as well. And so I'm, I'm steady developing myself. And I'm, you know, I sit back some and look, and I'm just, I'm enthused, you know. But yeah, Renata and I, we bump heads, but at the end of the day, we get the job done. At the end of the day, we hit the, we hit the stage. You go see that shit, you know what I mean? At the end of this video, and we brought it. So, you know, that happens. Yeah, Ebony Rose and myself had a little fight before the show. We have a fight before almost every show. But that's to be expected when you have two strong personalities working together for one mission, for one vision, for one, for one truth. You're going to have so many things coming out of us that, that are trying to speak for us. And it's all in 
timing and it's all in respect and, and learning how to work together, putting all the BS aside and let's just push this business. So yeah, we're gonna always, not speaking always, but it's common that we will not agree, but we will agree on stage and you will see that we do come together really well and just do, do what we gotta do. New you, Louisiana, Atlanta. Well, you know, truthfully, Renata and I went to the same junior high school and um, high school. Uh, I did not know her at that point, neither did she know myself. Um, and maybe about four or five years ago, I met Renata here in Atlanta because I was looking for a back and vocal, but it didn't work out um, at that time. Came around again in um, the end of last year. And um, I was looking for another vocalist at that time, and Renata respond, responded to you know one of those uh, social sites. And we've been kicking it ever since then. The first song that we recorded was um, titled "New You," and this is a song that I wrote. Actually, I started. It took me about three or four years to write this song. Um, some of it I did create, and some of it um, I, I received the information to write. Um, I started writing this song back in 2010, maybe 2010. I came up with probably the hook and one verse. Um, I think in 2012 I came up with the second verse. 2013, um, in the studio, I wrote that last rap verse at Beautiful Mind Music. Um, it took about three years for this song to come together and um, hooked up with said Mac of Beautiful Mind Music Studio and he helped us to, um, he re-recorded the music, engineered it and I mean it just really came to life and Renata Soul bringing the, um, the Neo Soul element to it has, has really exploded. And the song basically is just about rebirth. You know what I mean? It's just about uh, going through changes in life and really deciding on what you want to do and how you want to live your life. You know what I mean? I mean you know, so it's about a, a blossoming flower, you know, from a bud. It's about a tree from a seed, you know what I mean? So, New You is a very inspirational song. My biggest challenge that I feel like I would face, um, not only on this project, but just moving further along in my career, would probably be reaching out to the masses personalities that are in the world because my music I'm sure may not be liked by half the people or just me as a person could just go from there so maybe my biggest thing would just be to reach um, just reach enough uh, on my on my positive lyrics that I'm writing on the energy that I'm presenting just to change the taste in some people's mouths and to start a new open up a new venue to start a new walk of life and you know that's just a challenge all in itself just to be different so just I feel like just me being different could be a headbutt because I may I will have to learn how to uh, tone up some or be quiet when I need to and then sometimes I may need to speak up a little bit more so that would just be a challenge just growing up in the industry. Seth Records is most definitely As an artist, I'm finding um, very new and innovative ways to uh, sustain myself doing what I love to do. And that's, um, you know, getting into merchandise, getting into just putting part of my, my lifestyle into my art. Um, eat, being one that eats a, a vegan, vegetarian lifestyle and drink herbal teas, you know, I'm providing that information as well as those products to my fans, to my followers as well, you know, because nowadays, yeah, you know, you can. Yeah, the music is selling. Thank you all so much. Thank you all that's, that's out there purchasing New You. It is on iTunes if you don't know. Um, but it's so easy now, you know, to get music for free to really, you know, as an artist, you have to find different ways. You know, you really have to know the business because there, there's um, it's, it's more than selling music. You know, you have your mechanical rights, you get royalties on things that every time something is streamed or you spawn on a radio, you also want to send your music out to different films and, um, uh, for soundtrack um, considerations, you know, so many different things to do with me. jingles, you know, so I'm working on um, jingles as well, you know, so much that we can do with our music um, other than trying to just sell a song. I want to get to the point, actually, I forget the artist's name, I want to be able to give away my CD. I don't have to worry about selling it. I want to be able to give it to people because it's a gift, it's a spoken word, you know what I mean? I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to sell it. I'll, I'll eventually, I am getting to that point. Y'all keep helping me now, you know what I mean? Purchase the t-shirts though, you know what I mean? Purchase the herbal tea, buy the hats, you know what I mean? So, absolutely. So the benefits of touring. Um, this will be my first tour with, I would say, secular music. Because I come from a church background. So I've toured and traveled and 
done a lot of backup with gospel artists. So um, the benefit from this would be, again, just to bring my flavor to the table, my voice, and pull to get together that secular and that non-secular and um, just have a great time. My, my thing is energy and positive and enjoying myself. And I feed off the crowd. So if I know that the crowd is pleased and they're chanting and they're loving it, they're hungry, so they want more. And I believe that this tour with Ebony Rose and myself just coming together with so many different backgrounds of music that she and I have to explode and just show the world what we have to offer, this tour is gonna be impeccable. I'm, I'm excited right now just, just sitting here telling you about it. It's just, it's great and beneficial because not only will we continue to build a platform for ourselves, but we're also meeting great people. So it's always in networking and who you know and what you know, because it's not one or the other anymore. It's all of it. And just to meet people, to do more um, projects, to collab. And man, I'm trying to get to Europe, okay? Yo, what's up? We tired. We just finished performing. We just laid all our energy down. We're so grateful for this opportunity. We're not a soul. Check it out. Yes, yes, y'all. It has been a blessing. This crowd here is absolutely yes. wonderful. Anytime yes. we perform, we have, you know, people that are really into what you're doing. They're feeling the energy and they're about spreading that peace, love, and happiness. It's always a good thing. All right, we're going to see y'all at the next show, Saturday, April 12th at Little Five Points Community yes. Center. Yes.